Okay, the uh, Rattan Pathfinder. This is a fat tire step through e-bike that we're gonna have a lot of fun with. We're going to unbox it, we're gonna assemble it. In a different video, we'll test ride and review it. But let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be getting about a foot of snow here in Rochester, New York. So we're gonna to wanna to do this in the house where it's nice and warm. So let's get going. First glance. Wow, we'll go ahead and snap some of the banding. You always want to make sure when you're doing this, you're not uh, you're not clipping any of the wires. Looks like we may have to pull the seat out and then take our rack off. Our fender. We have a really strong strap in here. Look at that tire. That is one nice juicy tire. Our quick release attached to the front tire. Some of this on there. Okay, everything that comes in the rattan pouch is instruction manual. Pedals, left and right. Four twist ties. Three Allen wrenches. And a wrench. We also have our quick release that was attached to the front wheel. In this box here, we have, wow, our massive headlight. And this, is our charger with cord. Okay, and here you have everything that came in the box. So one of the first things we wanna do is actually take this battery out so that we can uh, get it charging up. What I do is I usually plug it all in and then stick it in the wall after uh, that's all set. Okay, we want to make sure that the neck is facing forward and then we're going to go ahead and unscrew our screws here. We'll go ahead and go ahead and move our handlebars up. It's kind of nice they have the display already mounted. We'll go ahead and get a couple of the screws started. Once you line one up, they'll all kind of fall into place. You want to tighten these down crisscross, so you want to tighten down top right, bottom left, bottom right, top left. So you want to crisscross as you're tightening them down so that it's nice and even. This was just in there for packing only. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the bike upside down and then put the front tire on. I normally don't do that, but I think I'm going to do that just to show a different way of Assembling the front tire if you're alone. Maybe easier for some people. Rest her down. And you want to make sure the seat's on there so you don't ruin your fender. I'm going to stick some foam underneath the handlebars just so they're not touching the ground. What you're going to want to do first is you want to pull out the little spacer. So now that we pull that out, you do not want to press down on that front brake because then the pistons can be pushed in. You won't be able to get the router on properly and you'll have a bunch of problems. Okay, now we're going to put the front tire on. So we'll take our tire, see if you got a good angle here. Come in and put our rotor right in there. Let the tire set. Perfect. Not even really scraping. Sweet. Now we'll go ahead and insert our quick release. You're gonna want to insert the quick release like this with the spring. So the spring's gonna come in here. And you can see over here the spring, the small ends toward the tire. We're gonna stay just like that. 
and we're going to stay consistent. And on the other side, that narrow part is going to go toward the tire. I'll uh, show you what it looks like. So the narrow part right to the tire, and we'll go ahead and put our put our nut on the end. And basically, all I'm doing here is holding this side. I'm opening it up and just turning it and holding it on the other side. Once we get it down tight enough, we're gonna push the lever down to tighten the wheel. You're gonna to wanna to force it down and you're really gonna to wanna to see an impression on your thumb when you do that to kinda of indicate there's some tension on that thing. So that's good. Slight scrape. But we'll fix that. Most all tires scrape when you put them on. Very rarely do you have one that doesn't touch at all. So we just have to make some fine adjustments. So we'll flip the bike back over and put the kickstand down. The next step we're gonna do is assemble the front fender and the headlight. There's some screws that are already in the front fork. We're just gonna go ahead and remove those. We'll do the same on the other side here. Screw that's right here on the front. So there's a screw, washer, and a nut. You want to make sure you don't lose that washer. Take our headlight. And our headlight's going to get placed just like this. What a cool looking light. And then we're going to take our fender come around the back side. Okay, the front fender is scraping. We're mounting the fender on the front, the same side as the light. It looks like it's gonna give us way more clearance. So let's take a look there. Wow, that's way more clearance. Yep, no more scraping on that front fender. So you definitely want to take your fender and your light and mount them both on the front. We'll plug in the light. So the next thing you want to do is center the handlebars to the front tire. And then we'll go ahead and tighten them up. There's a screw on both sides that you're going to want to tighten. One high and one low. Nice and snug. And then we want to make sure that this is tight up at the top as well. The next thing we'll get ready to do is going to be the back rack. The rack's going to go on there like this. So the first thing we'll do is take the screws off of the bike so that we can mount the uh, back rack. So we're gonna lay the back rack down. Looks like everything's gonna line up. So we'll go ahead and start screwing it down. I'm gonna start with the bottom here and then we'll work our way up. So we'll get it started by hand. Leave it right there. We'll go do the other side. Just get it started. Now we'll come up over here. Spread it out so they line right up. I pull back, you can see we can get it to line up with a little bit of tension on the, on the back rack here. Once you get it in there and start screwing it down, everything will square itself up. We're going to tighten down each screw a little bit at a time. And now it's just going to square itself up. Okay, let's install the pedals. It's obvious, I'm sure everyone knows, there is a left and a right pedal. Always make sure you take a look at it. Don't just assume you know. Make sure you actually put eyes on the L, and then you're gonna go ahead and uh, screw the pedal right in. And the right pedal is gonna go the opposite direction. So we'll snug that down, and now we'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, we're gonna run the light for the rack. I think I'm just gonna 
feed it to the outside. I think that's fine. And they give you, they give you four supplied twist ties. So I won't go too tight yet. I think we're gonna come this way and I'm gonna zip tie it to the outside and then I'll come under behind the kickstand. We'll come around here. Then I'm gonna come over here behind the kickstand. And then our last point we're going to tie into is going to be right here. So we have some extra wire here. I might throw another twist tie or two on here just to make it look a little neater. You wanna make sure you go around and check all of the screws and bolts, even if you didn't attach them, just to make sure that they're tight from the factory. Next up, test ride.